Hello, and welcome to another b and unboxing video. Today I am excited to present Pirates of the Dark Water complete for Super Nintendo. That's right, it is complete. It took me almost a year to finally assemble all the pieces. Because smart or dumb, I'm not sure which yet. Probably more dumb than smart. I bought the box about a year ago off a of whim. I saw it on eBay. No one else, only like one other person was bidding on it, and I ended up getting it for $25. I'm like, yes. Because I saw the game complete was selling for $100, $120 plus. So I nabbed the box. Boxes are usually the hardest part, so I nabbed that first. I figured game and manual would be easy. It wasn't. It was not easy. A few months later, I think I got the manual in very good condition for, I think I got that for $25 or $22, something like that. And that might have been October. I couldn't. Every time they, someone has the game up, they have it up for, you know, $100 for the game or $80 for the game. The game isn't worth that much. I don't care who tells you it's worth $80. It's not. The game by itself, maybe $40 to $55. That's where its sweet spot is. Anything above that is too much. Anything below that, you got a deal. And that's my problem. A few times it came up for auction and I was trying to get a deal. In the last second, I lost out. Uh, I think one of them around Christmas, I'm like, 38 bucks, I'm gonna get me a deal. And it went for 39. If I would have put 50 down, I might have gotten the game. I didn't. Uh, I think one time we lost power, so I couldn't bid on it. Uh, another time I forgot. And this time, this time was different. This time I found some of a complete set, and I just kept offering them around 100 bucks. We settled a little bit above 100. And I got the complete set. Sold off the box and manual because what I have I think is a little better. They're, they're on par. So that's how I got it. I had to buy a complete set to get a complete set. And sold off the parts I didn't need. Um, all in, I think I'm about $100 for this. So realistically, if you want to buy the whole set, just buy the whole set. Buying it piece by piece is stupid. I know. But... Let's go through what we got. This is the box I got originally. This one was a rental box. Uh, I think the other box I had was not. Well, I don't know. I think it was in a little worse wear. Uh, but you have the previously owned sticker right here. Maybe there's some tear right here. I guess maybe a price tag, which sucks. That sucks. We got a barcode label up here. Um, down here we have a nice cut through the box. Um, oh, the cut continues. Uh, it has 58 written on it with a white sharpie, I think. Tab is bent. The back is torn from some tape. And then you got another cut on this side. And some nice X creasing. That's cool. Um, <laughs> it's in rough shape. I'm not going to lie. It's rough. Um, the box, it, it really isn't too bad. It's not too bad. But it is rough. Um, and here's the crazy thing. I've seen this box with a huge tear, like right here. Maybe two by two inches kind of thing. Sell on eBay for 60 bucks. So, the boxes are stupid hard to find. But again, if you want to just buy the whole thing. But let's open it up and uh, we'll take a look at all the goodies. As I try not to tear it anymore. Alright, so here's the box. And here's the manual. This is the one I got. This one is a lot better than the, the one that came in the complete set. This one has a slight wrinkle there, and that's it. The other one was a little bit more wrinkled up, um, but not too bad. But they, like I said, they're both were on par, so it's not like I could say one was amazing 100 times better than the other one. They're pretty close. But it's a nice full-color manual. Um, if you never played a game, it's... Or if you've never seen the, the cartoon, that's going to be even harder to explain. But it's a, it's a, it's a nine, early 90s, I think, mid-90s uh, cartoon about pirates. Um, and the gameplay is essentially the same as or Turtles in Time, Ninja Turtles 4. Uh, I, probably all the Ninja Turtle games. It's a um, side-scroller fighting game. A whole bunch of bad guys come out and you fight them until they die and disappear. Um, this game is also a two-player game. Uh, so you can have hand-to-hand -hand combat with a buddy. Um, here's your heroes, and 
Yeah. There's the manual. In decent shape. In decent shape. And then we got the cartridge. Here's the game itself. This is the, the Holy Grail, the one that took forever to get. And it's yellowing on the back. But the front is pretty clean. The front of the label is pretty clean. Um, I don't know if that's the original back, to be honest. It looks like that does not look the best. Anyhow, if I have another back that matches this one, I might swap it out. Um, but the cartridge is here. It played first time, no issues at all playing it. And then lastly, we have the cardboard tray. Uh, a little bent, but a big deal. Like I said, I, I did order. I, I've ordered some more of these trays, so I might swap this one out. A nice, fresh, crisp one. Um, but that is the unboxing of. Pirates of Dark Water for Super Nintendo. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up. If you would like more information about Pirates of Dark Water, please Google it. There's a lot of information out there. This game was also available on the Sega Genesis. It's cheaper, so if you have a Sega Genesis and you want to play the game, go for that one. Um, I don't know if the quality is better. I have not compared them. I just know there's Super Nintendo and Genesis versions. Please subscribe so you can get some more up to the minute unboxing news. Not really up to the minute. Um, I, I try to do a, an unboxing video once a week. I, I try to do once a week. It usually ends up being once a month. So once a month there'll be a new video. So if you just subscribe, you will get those video updates. However, YouTube sends them out. And uh, thank you and have a great day. Good night. Bye bye.